Hello, Jonna. Let's see. We got a couple of people in YouTube. Been a sort of impromptu kind of day. Oh, let's see. Let's go to the court of dis. How do you here, Sydney and uh, Berta? Okay, we got the camera going. We're looking at the buffer. Let's look at the lathe. Not that we're there yet, but we'll be there soon. Okay, Hello, let me Jenny get rid of the diaper. <laughs> and we're going to be doing <laughs> Rich's pen next. Mr. Rich, he was here earlier. Hopefully, he'll be back. Hopefully, he'll be back, yeah. This will be fun. Hello, Sheila Hugo. Just drilling right now. Yep. Drilling for oil. Welcome back, Wanda. All right. Well, we just started, so you didn't miss yeah, anything. Yeah, we're... We're just getting rolling. Looks like Wanda wandered in. Hello, Wanda. Welcome back. Hello, oh, where'd it go? There it is. I dropped it. Welcome in. Welcome back, Vanessa, I should say. Yeah, welcome back. More of the same. In the YouTube. I don't know why I started doing it that way. I think it was being a smart aleck and you just stuck. Hello, Shay. Welcome. Hello, Shay. I love it when I see Shay. She's such a hot ticket. <laughs> All righty then. Let's see. Over in the YouTube world, let's see who we got in here today. We've got Jonna and Denise and Sheila and Vanessa and Shay and Shell. That almost makes a poem. Got 10 people rolling in there. Very nice. Lee's leading up the charge. I'm going to turn some pens here. Hopefully Rich comes back. I'm going to have Carrie message him. Hey, Carrie, could you message Rich? Let him know we're going to turn his pen. This is Michelle Anderson from, I think, Kansas. Hello, Shell. Oh, Carrie says she shipped your pen, Shell. You should have it soon. But they all know because they're watching the tracking numbers. All right. Okay. Hello, 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 everybody. Okay, let's get rolling here. Harry is going to message uh, Rich. Spinny, spinny. Blower is on. Oh, I got to put my headphones on here so I can hear all the excitement. Shana, I don't think so. I could be wrong. As soon as he gets his headset on, we'll ask. Carrie is not at her shipping station. Well, there's your answer. She's over on the couch working on some other stuff. I, I didn't get to edit any videos. All the time we were off, we we're responding to customers and uh, that kind of stuff. So I guess we'll, well there you uh, go. do that later. But yeah, John, and she's not at her shipping station. I'm gonna. I gotta hook her camera up to come over here, because right now it's hooked up to her PC over there. But she could do her own stream. <sighs> yeah, here we go. Square things into round logs. Well. 
Well, she you know she used to, she used to work on rugs. Why give me a trouble? He, he's trying to sneak into the bus too. Berta, of all people, is trying to sneak into the bus. Feeling the love, baby. Feeling the love. Little Miss One Pen. While we were off, we were getting ready for Easter. We called Instacart, ordered some ham, some fruit, cream cheese, and uh, that whipped cream cheese with uh, marshmallow cream. Do that fruit dip kind of thing. Uh huh. We're not doing a big meal. We're just gonna snack. Hey, Carrie, what's the finger hold for Mister Rich here? That's what we do, generally speaking, is snack. Yeah. Any more past the days of. The giant spread, you know. For the yeah, for the big meals. What's Rich's finger hold? Do you know? It's uh, baseball bats, right? It's. He wrote down he wanted um, rounded points. Well, this is the breakfast at Tiffany's. But what's his finger grip? Two point one. Two point one. That's probably about a point. Five eight maybe two point one. Let me go to the big circumference calculator here. Red, hurry up and come in and save Tim. Work tunes. There, let me come in here. Circumference to diameter. Let's see inches. Two point, two point one, point six seven. That's point six seven. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, okay, now, Jerry said he wanted round pointy, but oh, there's a baseball bat thing. Baseball bat and the bases. Round pointy, it's not part of this. So wrong, yeah. It's a breakfast at Tiffany's. You got um, baseball bat on the form, just no finger holding. It's a point six seven. It's a pretty thick pen. Is that right? He told me 2.1. Uh, 2.1 will work. He wanted round 20. I'm telling him now that it's a baseball Yeah. I'll do a rounded pointy. Oh, I almost forgot. Where are you? There you are. Okay, here we go. Luna will be in shortly. I forgot to message her. Tell her you were up and running. Welcome in, whoever in. Hey, Cassie. Thank you. 
Not a problem. I told you I would. So you got a hole in one. Yep. Cassie's Cassie's here streaming in Discord. And for those of you in YouTube, if you are not already a part of it, uh, we do have Discord that we also run. Voice everybody has voice on. Um, unfortunately, I was I'm I'm late on the run here, so I've got to fix that situation. But here is the link to said Discord. If you care to join us all in voice. If you do not, you will probably hear Tim or myself talking to ourselves, and we're not really talking to ourselves. We're talking to the people in Discord. Hey, Sherry Shivers, welcome in. Hello, Sherry. Well, you have while you have while you have YouTube up, tap the screen, tap the screen. You should come up with a pop up for your volume controls and whatnot. Should, didn't say you would, because it all depends. Yeah, the tablet pressing, Cassie. Uh, wait a minute. She might have it. Yay! Hip, hip. Well, there you go. You did. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Well, like I said before, there are times when everybody comes in and I'm and I get a wicked echo that nobody else ke that nobody else gets, and then after a couple of minutes, it clears itself up, and I don't get any echoes for the rest of the live. So I have no idea. And there's the there is the memorable Melanie Ivea. Oh, and I the too. and and the not so memorable Tammy. <laughs> Man, <laughs> screwing it, screwing with it right off the bat. <laughs> Sheesh. Just screwing with it right off the bat. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. That will put that stamp approval on a little foil sticker. Klutz worthy. Yeah. <laughs> or klutz, klutz proof. Klutz -proof. It's a klutz proof klutz pen. Proof. Or or is that klutz resistant actually? Because it could it could. Klutz yeah, resistant. Klutz there resistant. you go. Good job, Lee. Klutz resistant. Because it can't be necessarily klutz proof because it may do yeah yeah not a good thing, but it is klutz resistant. You know what, Lee? I think I'm hearing your echo. I have people. What was that, Tim? I could barely hear you. For some reason, I hear an echo. Now I don't hear you at all. Uh oh. I'm right here. There you are. Now, what were you saying about an echo, Tim? I said I was hearing you echo. Not now, though. Magic. It's magic. Yay, she accepted my friend request. Who's that? Carrie. Ah. She hadn't accepted mine. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello. I already said hello to Sherry Shivers. What am I doing saying hello to Sherry Shivers again for? I don't know. Love her to be here. That could be. <laughs> that that could very well be. Almost Doctor, as much as you like. Doctor Tammy is on the loose. Almost as much as you like hearing yourself talk. Ooh. Yep, it's a legend in your own mind. Yeah, delirious. Yep, delirious would be one word for it. Delusional might be another. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure it runs in this group, but it certainly runs on Facebook. <laughs> I like where genetic is. Dysfunctional family picture. That's that's the neighbor that that's 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 the family from the hood dysfunctional. Which one fell? Uh, <laughs> pretty rough, tough tumble, isn't it? Well, there's another there's another testimonial for you. <laughs> Drop test, clutch worthy, clutch resistant, whatever we yeah. call it. Clutch resistant. Drop tested. It's not only is it klutz resistant, but it's klutz approved. <laughs> un un underwritten by many clutches around the world. Yeah, really. Get together, unite, get apart. We're talking, for those of you in YouTube, we're talking about a pen that dropped that Cassie, also known as uh, CM Luna, if you don't know her name, um, tends to worry about because it's really thin, it was thin in the middle and she dropped it. And when she dropped it, when she dropped it, it didn't break. But she's okay. Heart attack. Stacy Hardy says, hi, everyone here for a bit until my mom is done meeting with my sister about some things. Ooh, hey, Stacy, how do you like your Groot? Yeah, Stacy, how do you like your Groot? Is it Groot-tastic? Is it Grootable? Or beautiful, I should say. Beautiful. Okay. There it is, Mr. Rich. Let's get you finished up. Wrong one. <laughs> I love Groot. He's awesome, she says. Isn't that cool? That was so cool. I did that one. So he's like Frosted Flakes. He's Groot. Damn, Lee, that was good. That, you gotta write that down. Need a <laughs> she says, gotta open some wine to use him with. 
There you go. <laughs> the way now, Stacy, the way you have him on that picture you took, it almost looks like there's an eyeball and a nose from those pearls. Check it out. See if you can see what I see. Okay, I got to look at it again because I didn't notice that the first time. You got to look real. It's not real evidence, but there's a pearl in there. There's a couple of them. It makes it look like a couple of eyeballs or nose or something like that. Okay, where are you? Leopard of Leather Works. There you are. There it is. Right down at the, yep, yeah, right down at the center line. Yeah, you see that? Yep. I yeah, saw it right see? away. Fruit has eyes. And a nose. And a nose. I got a couple of more I might turn them up. I gotta get cut. I gotta get up on this. Yeah. It's Groot. It's gotta have cute little eyes. Right next to the can of mushrooms. Well, you know, you might as well open a can of worms. I mean, it is Groot. Groot does have worms. Does he? Well, he is a tree. He's a, he's a tree, right? There's a fungus among us. Uh, crafting with Shay, otherwise known as Shay Shay, says she got her bottle stopper today, and I right. love it. Sweet. She, well, know, she doesn't drink the wine. She doesn't drink the wine all at once. You know, I mean, she it does take an hour or two. That's right. Yeah. Got to keep it fresh. They're asking. They're asking in. They're asking in Discord why you would need a bottle stopper, Shay. So that's what I said. I said, don't drink it all at once. You know, you got to give it an hour or two. She's a genteel lady, just a sip at a time. Yeah, it's not like she drinks it out of the bottle, for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I watch her lives in her whipping chat. She drinks it out of a glass. So she's a classy lady. She wouldn't slick it out of the bottle. Watch her do that on the next live. To make us wrong, she'll get that bottle and grab it. And go. Yeah, really? <laughs> that would be funny. She's she's thinking, I'll show you. Uh-huh. Well, then, if that's the case, if she does that, then I wonder if she was snuckered when she asked Lenore to record. No way. Um, she was solid serious there. Somewhere over the rainbow for her. She was solid serious for that. Yep. <laughs> hey. I can pick on two people at the same shot on that one. So, so, so what he needs to say is, "Look, Ma, no hands." <laughs> Wait, what was that, Lenore? If <laughs> one of the people can get even with me, not only that, but ahead of me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Super sober. Sober! Can you tell I'm drinking? <laughs> sober. Rr, 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 rr. <laughs> no, that's what she typed. She typed super sober, but she put S U S O B R R. So she corrected. She says, Can you tell I'm drinking? <laughs> Uh, uh, 
Yeah, that pass it along all. to everybody, right? Share the wealth, damn it. I got some gray goose around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, gray goose is not is not wine, trust me. <laughs> I ordered some Coke Zero. I haven't I had the old Instacart order for the house. I haven't had an alcoholic drink in. I don't remember when. I never had one. Ooh. No, no, I mean. Look at that thing. That was I mean cool. a drink, yes. drink. Not, not even a shot. Not even a shot in a glass of eggnog is not a drink. <laughs> Oh, I love eggnog, especially when you put a shot in it. I would agree. Oh, I, I do too. I I loved having eggnog. All I could I could drink eggnog year round if I was able to. I can't anymore, but you know. Yep. Yep. We used to do the same thing. As soon as it started out for the for the Christmas season, until Christmas season was over. Right after Halloween. So thick and creamy. Thick and creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. All righty, Stacy. Hurry back. It's it's creamy and eggy. I promise I won't get you any more of these. Me. Those actually might fit. I, I hope so. Yeah, well the last ones, the other ones, yeah. they're too small. I can't even um Yeah. Huh? I don't know. I'll try them on. Oh, I love watermelon too, so, huh? Oh. Yep, I love watermelon too. So for those who are hanging out on Easter, not a lot to do. We'll be streaming again tomorrow. What? Yeah, whenever whenever I start grinding, yeah, whenever I start grinding or buffing, it shuts it down. So I'll be quiet for a second. Grinsville said I had a rum and eggnog today. Yeah. Yep. You you have you can't put a whole bunch in. You can't put a whole bunch in. You just got to get just the right mixture. Some like more than others, but you know if it's if it's too strong, it just it ruins the whole thing. I won't tell you what I I won't tell you what I call Dr Pepper, but. You know, the the two middle P's, the the PP is not in it. And he's very original with that. I've never heard that before. Oh no, not much. But I'm dumb. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube, you're missing all the good sounds. Bunch of funny 
funny noise is in the Discord. I've got to get All one. Right, there this, it is. There's one that I got to get from Jenny. Rich, that is a gorgeous pen. You you lucked out and got a real cool flow of the mixture. That is so different, so different than every other one. That was nifty. I like it. Yet yeah, Rich just popped in. Rich, you just oh. missed. You just missed the entire turn. Rich, that's okay. Rich, we're we're showing it right now for you. Gorgeous mixture in this blank of the colors. Look at this thing. Can, yeah, can you see it, Rich? No, yeah. just look so at this that, purple. Look at that purple through there. That's wild. Just so that you know, t uh, it was the first pen Tim turned. So when we're done, uh, unless you want to just miss some of the next turning, you can always go back to the beginning and watch it because it was the first pen that got done. So that way, there you're you're you don't have to worry about wading through nine million different turnings and i think we have another one here this is stacy d her pen breakfast at tiffany's and uh, i'm gonna get a 0.55 let me drill some holes stacy d uh, are you in here working and lurking by any chance stacy d i'm gonna let carrie know if she can She hasn't responded yet, so who knows, but I don't think she's here yet, at least, anyway. Yep. That's Stacy the D is up next. Stacy D. Stacy Delta. Oh, okay. D as in Delta. Airlines. You know, I can still recite the phonetic alphabet. Yeah, you get stuck in your brain. And I have not been in the military since 1980. Yep. Yep. Or 81. IRS, open the door. Whatever it was. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, open the door. <laughs> don't do that unless you're in the... Don't, don't do that unless you're in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, we're going to make this square thing round. <laughs> this is a Wait, song that do, doesn't do, end. <laughs> Five o'clock. Yep. <laughs> it might be worse, but at least it's not Margaritaville. You know, when I was going through Winslow, Arizona, I took my picture of standing on the corner. Winslow. I was going through there one time, and I said, you know, yeah, I, I got to stop here in Winslow, Arizona, get a picture of me standing on the corner, in memory of the Eagle song. Yep. Eagle. Of all the things I lost, I missed my mind the least. As said from a certified crazy person. Okay, 0.55 baseball bat. Here we go. Batter up. Batter up. What's that? Hey, you know what? The little um, dragons arrived today. I think the uh, dragon spit's coming on Monday or Tuesday. Hey, leopards in the house.
It's the it's the L L L. Less limping than ever. Yeah, yep, he got here right at the end. And he was he was first Rich was first up, so it'll be, be easy for him to find it in the beach. It says 0.55, but I think that's right in the neighborhood there. Whatever works. Yeah, Hello, is. diamond wow. painting accountant, Alyssa. There she is. In the house. Alyssa, really? <laughs> Alyssa, that's like asking the Pope if he's Catholic. She says, Shay, I've got my wine here. Do you have yours? <laughs> no wine or no wine here. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, I know. I got I to gotta pick up a couple of them. I gotta. I know there's a place that that you can download, you know, quick little snippet sounds like those, like the drums. Oh, just Google it. There's a million of them out there. I got a CD full of fart sounds. Uh-oh. That's right. That's right. Is that Caroline? Welcome back.
They're not. They're not. They are no pair of Michael Jordan. Yeah, right. Yeah, you've been walking sideways for eight weeks. Lopsided. Got to get them tires aligned. They want you every time they can get you. Yeah. I just I just watched Dr. Mondragon out of Orlando. By the time she's done adjusting somebody, I feel like I've been adjusted, so we're good. Way too much. Don't hurt us. I want her to scrape my back till it's all red and rashy. <laughs> Gosh. Squeeze them toxins out. <clears throat> if you don't know who we're talking about, just go to YouTube and type Mondragon, M-O-N-D-R-A-G-O-N. That's her name. She's this chiropractor in Orlando that probably has about a year waiting list. And she gives you the top-down treatment. And, man, when you are done, cigar, glass of wine, you're out. Sorry, Kevin. I did not. I was looking at something, and I did not see it. Your uh -oh. it said UConn men's basketball team is going to the final four. Of course. We never we never doubted they were going. 
They're pretty dang good this year. Pretty dang good this year. Pretty dang good last year, too. No, I didn't fall asleep, Shay. I was just, I was looking something up. So I was on a different screen. I keep forgetting I got to keep you guys informed as to what's going on in Discord because you can't hear Discord. That's right. And. There you go. We we can't be friends. We can't be friends. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> can't we all just get along? No way. Get along, little doggy. All the games are inconsequential because Connecticut's going to take it all. So, you know, they're going to repeat. Not bad, three bucks. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. Well, Duke, I'd expect to be there, even with Krzyzewski out. Hello again, Troy. And in case you didn't, and in case you didn't hear that, uh, Carrie said she's got you blank today. Blanks, excuse me. Pardon me, I forgot an S. <laughs> yeah, oh, Troy, but why? Troy can't, can't hear you. Troy, Troy can't hear you. Unless you join this, unless you join the stream. It was, it was almost as, it was almost as much fun as disconnecting Tammy. <laughs> No, I don't think. No, you were already you were already gone at that point. I was very careful about how I did it. Trust me. <laughs> Probably Lee. Lee's got a lot of power now. No, I would have. I I I was very careful about that because I want to make sure I do not do that to Carrie. Actually, I did it, Carrie. <laughs> Troy wants to know Troy wants to know if Tim liked her, liked his drawings. What drawings? Troy. What drawings? Did I miss them? Troy Clint. What? Yeah, but what drawings? I don't know. You'd have to ask Carrie. Oh, so he's asking that's about why. drawings. If they're in the box, Troy, he hasn't seen them yet because she hasn't opened the box. She just was letting he, you know that she got the block, the box with your blanks. Did he say blanks or did he say drawings? Drawings. 
But that's what I said. If the drawings are in the box with the blanks, oh, then oh, oh. she haven't seen them yet. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, the ones he on the blanks. Apparently he, apparently, apparently he drew on the blanks because he's saying oh, the ones cool. on the blanks. Nice. Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. I have no clue. We will we will figure it out, Troy. That's for sure. Nobody can hear you, Carrie. They can't hear you. When I get caught up, she would process them immediately, which may be never again. In other words, what they're trying to say, Troy, is they got the box, but it usually takes about 24 hours approximately for her to open them and process them because they're so busy. The, 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 the bucket of my work, the things I'm pulling from right now, is full. Yeah. <laughs> I got a feeling this one's going to be as cool as chips. So I can see this color stuff coming out the center of the Oh, that's straight. There's the trick. Now that's on her end. Hey, Cy, your burrito's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This... This that is, been, that is nice. Been, yeah, this must have been right next to uh, Rich's. That's cool. Well, pretty. Pretty soon, Tim, it'll just be you turning in the background while they're all talking about their diamond paintings and, and, and enhancements. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect, right? Not me. I'd rather talk about the pens. We'll butt in. We'll butt in once in a while. Yeah, we'll butt in once in a while. And I'm telling you, this one was sitting right next to Rich's in that, that mold. The store. Yep. Well, that's what I said before. It's like, you know, even within the same mold, one cut from the other is so much different, you know? I think 
I think the old shipping table is mainly for where there's quality and numerical control. Oh, pfft. I don't know who do that. I'm calling HR. Should be a benefit. I got to open door that. Who do I go? <laughs> Nobody's left. I'm sorry. That's a violation. There is no eating of the of the customer gifts. <laughs> I just buy three bags at a time now. Not a whole bag. There goes Berta. <laughs> there it is. That is Purdy. I love this deep right here. And I think this, do we have pink in this thing? Yeah, it must be pink. But it's got a little bit of a cavern there, so it makes it look dark red. Missy. Who is? Her dogs. She put a picture up in general some time ago of the four dogs at her feet going, it's bedtime. They bugger repeatedly. Come on, dogs. They want to go to bed so Easter gets here faster. Oh, by the way, I put this back on the lathe. It was a little rough on one end. All right. So it's, but it's still on the buffer just so you, there you go. Is it four Chihuahua butts in your face? <laughs> I see that picture there. No, actually, it's the other way around. Uh-oh. Poor Chihuahua's facing her going, oh, my God. <laughs> it's bedtime. Get your ass out of bed. <laughs> out of the chair, I mean. There you go. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, and they're all sitting there going, Mom... Bedtime. Check this out, Luno. Wait a minute. Can you see that?
that look. It's that look. <laughs> yeah, they're all sitting there saying, okay, Ma, let's go. Not a chance. There it is. Okay. That's better. Well, it was a little a little rough on one end. I probably got down there and put that sandpaper over too quicker. And then once you don't get that first level, you don't get the rest. You're still on the lathe, so. Oh, I was just buffing it up. Yeah, I know. But I didn't know if you were trying to show it. That's why I said that you were still on the no. lathe. No. No, there's nothing to see because you can't see it on the screen, but I can see it up close, as you might imagine. Oh, it yeah. A little, a little rough on that end. Believe me, oh. I can imagine. I look at my pen and still go, but I remember when it, it didn't look like that when it was on camera, but it was beautiful when it was on camera, but still it doesn't look that good. <laughs> okay, Carrie, Brenda C. Majesty Magic. Brenda C. Yeah. Hopefully she's lurking. Ditsy, Ditsy's like, I want to give them all the cuddles. <laughs> What's up, Ditsy? How's it going? And there's Cass and there's Cassie going, my corgi now asleep and not caring. I don't think I can get a good picture. I want to get a picture of her. Yep. Yes. You are the champion. Okay. Look at that, boy. I think it just glistens. You may. You may certainly do that. Everybody wants to do that. Yep, over in Discord, we're putting up pics of the pets. Pics of the pets. And there's my cat not caring. Well, one of the cats, anyway. About anything. You you notice how the cat is taking over the entire footrest, and my wife's legs are hanging over the edge. It's like that's my spot, woman. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but then what are you gonna do with but but then what are you gonna do with the other three that are gonna sit there and say, I'm jealous, they get to sling and we don't. Hey care. Harry, Majesty Magic is that uh yeah, you know, baseball bat. Baseball bat one five five. Gotcha. Roger, contact open up. Thank you. 
Yeah. Heck yeah. Doing her job. Well, well, Kevin, it's sports, so it doesn't deserve the time. <laughs> yeah. He says UConn men's basketball is going to the Final Four. Sports may be the way I get Kevin into the shop. Well, that's one way to get Kevin to diamond paint. Just get a just get a custom of a, of one of his favorite ball teams. Hey, care. How's the Instacart thing? Are they shopping? No. Oh, the big one. Smoke that baby to warm it up. Just none. Eat it. Just snack off it. No, we're we're not doing a meal. We're just sort of snacking because we'll be here in the garage turning, and, you know. So we're just. <sighs> Tomorrow. Yeah. So you know, after everybody's meal or family time, tomorrow's I'm Easter. In the watch, I've got to. Uh, I got to keep turning. No rest for the wicked. That's right. Keep them wheel to turn. I'm actually excited to get a bunch of pens out of the way because I really want to get the Caroline's measuring spoons and all that kind of stuff. Never done Hello, that Amelia. Before. Oh, I love that cat, Melanie. Lenora says it's a beauty. It's a keeper. We had a beautiful black cat. Unfortunately, he had all kinds of medical issues that we were unaware of when we adopted him. Feline leukemia and feline diabetes. Hurry back. Hurry back. <laughs> 40, 40 feet away. I'm leaving that one up to Tim. For enough money. For enough money, I will.
legal, moral, or ethical, you know it. You know it, sister. What's that? She doesn't want to kick everybody out. She just wants to kick a select few out. You and Carrie. <laughs> Just say it's a good group, Tammy. If you got to be kicked out, you might as well be kicked out with Terry. No, I'm not going there. I'm not going to make any comment about that one. Yep. Walk away, walk away. It's just so tempting. Step away though. from the minivan. Step away from the comment of not getting any. My leather guy, Clint, he says, Tim, no leather tomorrow. Got some family stuff. Well, that gives you more of a chance for turning then, huh? No. This guy's a real stud. He used to ride the horses in the rodeo. He was one of those guys that shot at the balloon. Probably. State, county, state, natural, natural champion of that competition. You ride around with a horse of shoes. Your lathe is louder than your voice. That lathe has a lot to say, Lee. Yeah, it sure does. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know how much you've worked me over the last... Yeah. Well, this guy's probably only done... This lathe's only done 400 pens. The buffer lathe, that did 450 before we upgraded. It's, it's catching up. Okay, let me double check here. All right, nope, still at 402. If there's anybody in YouTube that is not subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If we can get Tim and Carrie or Leopard Leatherworks as a whole up to 500, Tim will be turning pens for 24 straight hours, which might get him halfway caught up if we can get him up to that point. That's right. We might get caught up. What's that? Crap. I I would just be happy to be caught up. I mean, we might do 35 pens. 35 pens in 20. Yeah, I forgot there's a household. Lenore just reminded me there's a household member that I could put in. Because she, because her YouTube is not connected, you know, it's it's not added to the the count. Right. I gotta put Lenore's Leopard Leatherworks in there. Is anyone else having issues watching the stream on Discord? I am not Ms. Nikki. Um, of course, I'm not watching it on Discord, so. I, can't, I really can't say much. Uh, 
La da da de 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 de. What seems to be the problem with it, Nikki? Just so that we know what we're looking at here. She just restarted it too, by the way, just in case. Oh, say, yeah, say hi for us. We like her. She's awesome. Copy that. Not a problem. Tell her I said hi. No okay, problem. Okay. Miss Nikki says Miss Nikki says she's buffering are they yeah, she's buffering it's buffering. She's restarted, cleared cache, changed Wi Fi and can't figure it out. No, oh, I think you've done about all she can. So I don't know. Hello, Sarah Ann. It might be Nikki's internet. Nikki, I know this is crazy, but you may want to restart the Wi-Fi router in your house or the wired router in your house to reconnect to the outside world a little more solid. That might work as well if you've done everything else. Yeah, sometimes. Hey, Ditsy, welcome in. Welcome, Ditz. She says if it's just on her end, she'll figure it out. Yeah, might just... Audrey Children says, just got off work, but I'm here now. I probably won't be here long. I am exhausted. Oh, there goes my internet now. You are joking, yep. obviously. Okay. I'm going to wait a second for it to reconnect. Yeah, you, he's frozen. He's frozen in leopard lo in um, in streamyard. There he comes back. I think my internet went crazy. Yeah, because it keeps it keeps locking up in streamyard. Sarah Ann says she thinks her. Sarah Ann thinks her says she thinks her favorite turnstile is uh bases yep there you go tim you're on you're on black screen with the white circle yep that's you It's still counting down. It's still counting up, but it's, you know, but there's nothing there, so. And there you are. There's your, there's your picture again. Yep. Welcome in, Audrey. And yes, Kevin, we will start training you to make pens if you want. I just teach you my way, that's all. Yep. Yeah, he yeah. just doesn't like the way I'm moderating because I'm not good. I'm not saying all of his comments, so he's saying he's not gonna he's not gonna learn if I don't if I'm not a better moderator. <laughs> Kevin's always got an ultimatum for everybody. Oh, of course he does. That's what makes it so much fun. That's right. What? That's it. Would you say, uh, Tammy? Well, we'll be here. Yep. <laughs> 
See you around. And and that's just it, T Kevin. All you have to do is walk into the garage. It's real easy. Yeah. Heck, I'd even buy him his own lathe and tools. See that? I know, really. Yeah. <laughs> just set me up with a stool so I don't have to stand the whole time. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> we can get a stool, I'm sure. Or UConn lower the lathe. You can went. Yukon men won, apparently. Of course. Whoopee. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's yeah, exciting yeah. for some people who are very, very into it. And Kevin oh, of is course one it of is. those who's very, very into it. Of course it is. You should hear my brother when the Bruins play. I'm telling you. Yep. Basketball. College college basketball. Yeah. My... <laughs> now. My brother yeah, when college college basketball playoffs are going on now. When when my brother's watching the the Bruins, no matter what stage of the game, whether it's whether it's the first game of the season or the last, they score a goal, you can hear him halfway down the street screaming, Yeah, yeah, hello, you know, all kinds of different my, things. My second son, Sean, paces in front of the TV when the Sox are playing. Uh-huh. I mean, like, like he's going to have a catatonic fit if something goes wrong. My mother used to sit on the very edge of her chair whenever a game was played, especially the closer it got to playoff season. I got to tell you, I love that kind of excitement and dedication because I don't have it. I admire it, and, and I don't know what gets everybody fired up about it because, quite frankly, I'd get fired up when they give me a fan contract, pay me, outfit me, you know. <laughs> But but I don't think that happens that way. So but I love the excitement that people do get hell bent over their team. And and the and the funny thing is, watching it on TV, I couldn't care less. I really really don't care. However, if you put me in, in on the field in the field and and watching it on live, or in the stadium or wherever, I'm just like everybody else. And you know what? I am just the opposite. I'd rather watch it on TV. The guy just left the groceries at the thing. Can you help me? At what thing? At the front door. Yeah. Let's go get the groceries. March Madness, Dad, not playoffs. Oh, the Hawks, baby. See Hawks. Yep. Yeah, I love going to game. I love going to games because I'm, you know, it's that whole crowd mentality type of thing. But at home, I would fall asleep. It just, I just, I can't. I can't. Yeah, you know, it's just like whatever, <laughs> you know. I think what it was, quite frankly, and I'll say this until somebody can prove me wrong. My father used to work for the Bruins back when Bobby Orr and Kenny Hodge and all of them played for it. And we've had we've had hockey players over at the house, you know, staying at the house. And I've been to their houses. But to me, it was just like, okay, yeah, well, they, you know, they put their pants on one leg at a time and they they... They, you know, they skate around. They skate around making thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars for playing something we used to play on the street as kids, you know, for nothing. Yeah, but but they play it at a level that uh, grabs a crowd and people pay tickets and buy concessions to be there. That's the difference. Oh, yeah, of course they did. Yeah, you know, and then in high school and college and, you know, whatever the case may be. But I became very jaded to it, I think, you know, especially with some of the players that I've known that just were like, you know, I'm entitled. So what was your problem there? Yeah. You know? Oh. Yeah, you should have a couple of strawberries. Yep, there's the strawberries for the marshmallow. That small? Yeah, that's good enough. It'll last a while. 
Because everyone else is going to build all the eggs too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you good? I suppose. All right, mom's good. Yay! Put it in the fridge. Mom's good. Yeah, the difference, Lee, is those guys and girls that can perform at that sport at that level, they attract a crowd. And that crowd pays a lot of money. Oh, I know. But I'm just, you know, like I said, it's just because I got jaded over time. Were you were you not happy they didn't choose you to play in the pros? I couldn't care less. That's <laughs> didn't matter to me at all. They I actually, never drafted me either. They kept trying to get me to play basketball, and I was like, "No, thank you," because I was I was deal. I was so tall. Everybody was like, "Oh, we could we would love to have him," and I'm like, "Whatever." Yep. You know, sports in and of itself you know, as a franchise or otherwise, just never meant much to me. The only reason I like being uh, at the field or in the stadium is because of the whole fan experience. Yeah. I like I watching the home better. I feel I feed off the energy at the field or in the stadium. I've been to probably Harry and I or me alone or whatever, probably seven or eight seven or eight um, NFL games and I'm telling you I'd just rather be a TV watching it because the game's better there. Yep. The fan experience is fun I, with the game, no doubt there, but I, I want to watch the game and I can't see it. You, you know it. Well, not only that, but those cameramen, I, I don't care what you say, those cameramen are talented. Oh, yeah. Because if you've ever been to a hockey stadium, for example, or, I mean a hockey game, for example, it is almost impossible when you're halfway up that building to follow the puck. Because it's this little tiny black dot, you know, but yet the cameramen follow it right all along. And it's like they never, they almost never lose it. It's muscle memory. Yeah. Billiard. I enjoy the experience. I think it's too expensive for me. That's why I don't go that much. Uh, but Berta, Berta, I have been to two Seahawks games. Yeah, I bet. There you go. So we got free seats because back in the 80s, I was a poor sailor. And um, the way we got one set of tickets was Harry's dad knew, because they're both dead now, Wellington Mara. And Wellington Mara owned the New York Giants. And... Uh, we got some tickets above the K on one of the end zones on the season that the Seahawks were the only ones to beat the New York Giants when the New York Giants went on to win the Super Bowl back in the 80s. It must be 87, 85, I don't know, 86, something like that. And then we saw them play the San Diego Chargers, and I forgot how we got those tickets, but they weren't free. They were a little bit. And their military discount because I was in the Navy over at the Bangor submarine base. And um, uh, that's when Charlie Joyner passed his all time rushing record, and Steve Largent passed his all time games with a catch record. That was back in the old Dave Craig game. <laughs> okay, here is Majesty Magic. 0.55 baseball bed ends and some really nice vases in the middle. That came out nice. Came out nice. And that's for Miss Brenda. So, Miss Brenda, when you watch it back, you are right here. I think I announced that at the beginning, too. What'd you do? It'll come off. All right, Miss Styles. 
Brandy. We see her around now and again. Why are you? Hold on. I'm holding. No I didn't get any pineapple. Okay. 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 We'll have to go to the store and get more. That's the solution. Yep. Tomorrow they're open. No. Stores are all open on Easter. <laughs> that ain't Christmas or Thanksgiving. They're open. Apparently, I didn't get enough cantaloupe and got no pineapple. Oh, Carrie, have Kevin get some. I'm going to pick him up at 10. Yeah, I got the same distributor. <sighs> yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. I plan on going back on. Let's we'll see what Carrie thinks, but I need to. Yeah, it's it's nine oh it's nine oh nine now, so you got still got a little bit of time. Yeah. Probably enough for one more pen. Yeah. Maybe two if we go real fast. <laughs> if we go Here real we go. fast. Real fast. And watch your son have a heart attack. <laughs> uh, lay uh, camera. They usually don't let him out till. Five or so after it. Yeah. So it's not like I need to be there. There we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now I'm the director, too. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Director of cinematography. Yep. I forgot I can't talk when I'm cutting. Yeah, I don't know why that is anymore either, because it used to be that your that your lathe never overtook your voice. Scott Glenn. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what changed, Lee, because I didn't change any settings. It just, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't, it just, I it was weird, or it's been weird. Okay. 0.55, five and a quarter baseball bases. And then, of course, as soon as he stops cutting, the voice comes back to normal. Tomorrow Entertainment. I'll probably sleep in in the morning to at least 6 30. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep in until the ass crack of dawn, you know. Regretting it. Yep. yep. Well, one cat, one cat wakes her up about three o'clock in the morning to, to to burrow into her armpit and lay there. One cat will wake her up 
about three hours later to try and feed off of said armpit. And then they both turn around as soon as she opens her eyes and the first time she goes to the bathroom in the morning, no matter what time it is, even if it's four o'clock in the morning, start saying, okay, Ma, come on, it's time to feed us. Come on, Ma, Ma, come on, it's time to feed us. Come on, Ma. I think tomorrow I'm going to get my little oscillating cutter. I'm going to cut the grill off of that little intake on that. Tim, how do you get so lucky? I start waking up at 4 a.m. That was from Audrey. Audrey, um, I used to wake up at 4.30 and be at the store at 5.30. But uh, I only need about five and a half hours, six hours of sleep. So like last night, Karen and I were done with the lives, and it was about midnight. I'm going, okay, we're going to meet Marion in the morning. So let's see, that's what time carry nine. Okay, we're gonna meet nine. It means we leave here about oh, 10, quarter to eight, or quarter to nine. And said, that means I could sleep till eight. And I said, I need to go to bed at two because I know that I will not sleep past six hours. I'll just wake right up. So went to bed about two, fell asleep about 2.05 and uh, woke up about uh, 20 minutes to eight. Without an alarm. That's almost bit. That's almost bad as some people. Oh, I'm sorry, Timmy. Go ahead. That's like some people I used to know, like my father. He just turn around, get to go to bed, sit at the edge of bed, and say, "Okay, I need to be up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. or whatever time." And you know, sure enough, five minutes before he had to wake up, he'd wake up. And that would give him enough time to smoke a quick cigarette and then get on his feet and get going. Back when he smoked. Yeah, I just, I don't know why. I've been uh, doing that for years. Nikki got the, got the issue worked out. Stream is working fine. Beautiful, Nikki. Beautiful. Now, he was the same way. I, I myself am like... If it's before noontime, forget it. Yeah, and Carrie, Carrie's a night cover, so she was up till four. Normally, on a Saturday, I'd be in here turning and let her sleep till 11. Ooh. She needs a good seven or eight hours. And uh, today she said, come on, Carrie, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, I said, I said what time's Mary and I'm going to be there? Oh, better tell me you're late. I'm going to be late. Okay, I'll tell her. Yeah, you go with me. No big deal. The funny thing is, is as bad as I am about waking up, I'd rather be an hour early than a minute late. Okay? So if I have to get up super early, I actually have to wake up at least an hour, what, an hour, an hour and a half before I actually have to get up because I need to be able to lay there for that hour, hour and a half just to get myself motivated. Yeah, I just, I can't, I'm not like my wife. My wife can get up out of, you know, wake up, get up out of bed, start singing. The first time she started singing when we were living together, I threw a pillow at her. And then I swore at her and told her to shut up. Say, what are you doing, lady? What in the... What in the double hockey sticks do you think you're doing singing at 6 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Bringing joy into the world. Oh, she just... That's what she's doing. Oh, I, I, yeah, not, not, mm -mm, no. <laughs> no, mm -mm, no. You may not see that joy, but she's bringing joy into Oh, the world. she, she loves it. She, or, and... Yep. I've since gotten used to it, but she also doesn't sing like she used to either. So apparently yeah, she in the mornings. She didn't want me throwing things at her. But um oh 
To me, it's too early in the morning if it's before noontime. That yeah, that's like, that's, yeah, I know I'm going to waste my whole day, but so what? Let it waste. <laughs> I mean, that's like when we go to have our blood work done, it's usually a quarter or nine. I'm a walking zombie. And what's worse is usually first thing in the morning when I get up, first thing I grab is a Mountain Dew. I have the Mountain Dew, and then a little while later, when Lenore's making her second cup of coffee, I have my first. Yeah, and then and even then I'm like, oh, I'm not awake yet. But when we have to have our blood tests done, guess what? No coffee, no soda. Just Mountain Dew intravenously? Not even. <laughs> no nothing. Exactly. We take it with us, and as soon as I get back in the car afterwards, I open it up and drink it. <laughs> Yeah, and, and Lenore will be like, that's been sitting in the car for an hour. It's got to be warm. I said, it's hot, but I don't care. It's Mountain Dew. <laughs> but yet I can't drink Diet Pepsi warm. Yeah, I should be a water drinker. I just can't bring myself to do it. Yeah. No well, bottled water. Uh, it's bottled water here, or nothing, because the water here is. Even though they say, "Oh no, that the drinking water is not reclaimed water." Yeah. Well, guess what? I went to a doctor once. Yeah. About Now, uh, when I was growing up, we used to have to let the water run for about 25 minutes before we could drink out of it. Yeah. I, I grew up in Lynn. But the problem was, is all the water pipes and whatnot were, were old, old, old pipes. So you had to actually let the rust come through before you could drink it. And I mean, literal pieces of rust in the water in some cases. No, it would not look drinkable. But so now, but now since they've gone they've gone through such changes that the water in Lynn is now ab amongst some of the best in Massachusetts. Not the best, but amongst them. Better anyway. Yeah. But um delicious, isn't it? Try your water. I'll just turn around slice off a chunk of the glacier and let it melt. <laughs> oh poor rocks. Uh Huh? Me either. I <laughs> don't think we have any glaciers around here. Not anymore, anyway. They left a few Be million years ago. Between between that, opening up her back door and say, and greeting the polar bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just black bears. Oh, they're the bad ones. That and the seals, of course. Not.
A hybrid shark. Oh, the great white. The great white shark. Yeah. Brought him up. And then realized, oh, hell, it's too cold for me. I get to get the heck out of here. Yeah. Go follow the current. Don't get in the middle of nature. Let it happen. Tastes like chicken, I hear. Connie. Connie said that uh, her house in Texas was on well water, and uh, her well was the only one on the block with a sulfur pocket. Oh. Talk about gross. It smelled of a mix of rotten eggs and dead fish. Only, only, you know it. Only, only thing it was good for was watering the yard. Well, they could put a filter on it, too, and get rid of them. But it's expensive. Very expensive. Over in Arkansas, we had a sulfur-bound well. It had a giant filter system on it, so you could drink it just fine. It didn't stink. But boy, if you got out near the well, I used to love well water. We had a, I had an uncle that had um, a well with the old-fashioned handle pump, oh, the yeah. hand pump on it. We used to we used to grab that all the time and pump it up and pump it up until the water would finally start coming out. And then we'd drink out of that. I just use the garden. <laughs> Never actually had a functional well then. It wasn't electrified. Uh, they had the old-fashioned hand pump, like you see on the old old West shows. Yes, you would. There's no doubt about that. Probably wouldn't have functioned though, but it would look good. Yeah. Exactly. Back here in there shooting the real McCoy and shit. That 
is looking sweet. This could be a nice there's a bunch of color happening right here. Might have been right near the other one. That's right. As soon as I get this, as soon as I get this issue fixed with why I can't get into the uh, website, because I'm going to reset the uh, reset the router. Uh, see if that works. Um, Very cool. I got to get in by a can opener. Okay, what time we got, Lee? It is. 9.30 your time. Oh, we'll get another one in. Pop over the buffer here. His can opener is the one that I keep telling you about that he turns. One of those for the for the soda cans. The beverage pop opener? Yeah, I got to, uh, I was just telling Lenore, when, when I get the uh, issue fixed, I'm going to reset the router and see if I can't get into the website so I can buy one of the beverage top openers, the can openers. No, it, it 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 just I hadn't had time this afternoon because I was busy doing some other things. No, no, I had to. Uh, I was going to do it this afternoon, and I I ended up having a talk with somebody else about something, and uh, I didn't have a time until you know because yeah. the live started, and we'll I figured out. I'll do it in the morning. It's not a big deal. Just uh, Lee, at some point, just Google Google DNS. Yeah, and you'll be able to reset your DNS settings to that to bypass whatever the ISP. Yep. No, nah, it's just I'm going to do it in the morning so that I can get a fresh start on it. Because right now, like Jack's watching his shows and sports and different things and in his room, and I'm watching TV out here, and Lenore's doing some stuff on, on her phone, and of course I've got the live going, so I don't want to reset the Wi-Fi <laughs> while we're all trying I'm to do now. this stuff. There oh, it is, all buffed up. That came out nice. And that is... Miss Brandy, Miss Brandy, yes, nine thirty one. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we might make some good, good bang on this over the weekend. Lindsay O'Hare, we see her around off. She's got four, so we'll get at least one done. Point four six, purple, black, white. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's pretty cool. I like this one. There's some really neat bikes here. These are all four cocoon bikes. Should be pretty nifty to turn. DI, I don't know what DI means. DI, Lindsay O'Hare, 1.46. Get that. Purple, black, white. Now I'm supposed to turn. Let me ask Carrie. How am I supposed to turn Lindsay's O'Hare? What's on the paper? No turning style, 0. 0.46. Yeah, she's always our, just whatever Tim feels. Oh, okay. She's always whatever. Whatever Tim feels. <laughs> whatever Tim feels. <laughs> I don't know what kind of end design. There's no end design on this thing either. You're killing me, Smalls. I know. That's just what I do. You're killing me, Smalls. Everything's ready. Baseball bat and they're all so pretty. Can't take a minute. Everything I said, you look at 
Okay, so so baseball bat ends on all of them. 0.46 and do what looks cool. Cool. By whose definition of cool? Yeah. The definition is she's never been unhappy with anything we turn. I'm like, oh, I can't beat that. I was talking to Illinois. Who's who we talking about? This is uh, Lindsay here. Ah, yes, I did hear that. Well, then you better get to it, don't you think? You better get to it. Get to it. Uh, 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 uh. No putting off until tomorrow what can be done today. All right, Mr. Cocoon Blank, purple, black, and white. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. We're gonna have baseball bat ends 0.46. This should be quite dramatic. I'd like to know how far that purple goes on the inside there. It'll be interesting. At first, I thought the white that was there was actually still part of the sticker. Is part of the label, yeah. No, I'm mimicking the so I'm mimicking the sound of somebody leaving and then coming back into voice. Oh. But um, yep, hear yeah. you now. Dar she blows. He did it. It, I don't know what they're throwing me under the bus for. I haven't even been anywhere near the computer. I broke your thing. <laughs> that could be a lot. That could be a lot of things. You broke my thing over here. 
You know that thing you were working on? No, I'm old enough now. I don't break any toys. I don't know nothing. I'm just a driver. I know nothing. It is a lot of white. Dark gray or black, depending, and there's a little tint of purple in there. What? All right, let's see what this one looks like. So we still got some of this purple and black hanging out and it's starting to string in there. That's going to look really cool all polished up. But what are we going to do? I'm thinking Morse code on this one. It's going to give us some up and down. Morse code is two bumps and that means it's three digs. Yeah, I think it'll give you some almost a three dimensional. Yeah, we won't back. cut all the way through that, that purple and black on the back side. Okay, so we need three digs, right? Yeah, two ones. So, should we do that one by taking that up? So, we dig, dig with those. La da da di 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 di. La da 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 di di dum. And now we. What was that? You drink the water.
Mom, mom, Tammy needs a drink of water. Can you hook her up, please? Yeah, I'm thirsty. She's a little parched. She's a little parched. Welcome, Marion. Welcome. Good to see you again. Even virtual. I think for this particular pen, this is going to be my favorite part. Yeah, this one's really going to pop. Up, yeah, watching it, watching it start to shine up. I think this is going to be my favorite part. See it all. It's like I know it's a, I know it's just the sanding, but even with the sanding, you can just start seeing the colors pop out. Oh yeah. Marion, you're not muted again. Not that we're not. Not that we're nosy and don't want to know, but you know. Yeah, but you're muted again. You're not muted again. There you go. Thank you. Didn't think you'd want to want us knowing all of your personal arguments over there. I mean, not that we don't want to listen. But... I mean, we're nosy, <laughs> so I mean, you yeah, know. we're pretty nosy. We, we listen. Oh, her and Carl ain't fighting. They're probably having a good discussion today. But you see, that's why I got that's why I got paid good money to be a security guard because I was I'm naturally nosy. That's it. Curious. Yes. Six six. And at one point I was darn close to three hundred pounds. And it wasn't great because it wasn't muscle, you know. Yeah. So it all kind of settled around the middle. Oh, that's too big, yeah. But I started working malls. As a matter of fact, the mall that they used the filming for, for Mall Cop, that's the mall I worked at. Where was, where was that one at? I was in Burling, that was in Burlington, Massachusetts. Oh, I've been to that mall. Is that where they had that one? That's where they filmed it. Um... I wasn't there at that time. I was there shortly after, though. Uh, not even, not even a year afterwards. Um, it had, the movie had came out, and I watched the movie just out of self-defense because I knew that I was going to that mall, and I knew what was going to happen. And sure enough, everybody was like, "Hey, look, it's Paul." You know? It's like, no, my last name is not Blart, so go away. <laughs> but. Um, you know, everybody, oh, mall cop, mall cop, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. But that's also where I started writing segues. Because, and yeah, they, they actually bought segues for the mall because that was a big part of that character. He's, they always rode around on segues. And the funny part about it is if you watch the movie, if you watch carefully, one of the stores, the mannequins, actually have bathing suits on because it was filmed in the summertime in the spring and summer even though it was supposed to be christmas yep that's one of the big mistakes that's one of the big mistakes they made that actually made it into the movies into the movie but i had seen i had seen him a few times because he he would uh 
come down around that area and then go into Danvers at one of the other malls in Danvers, Liberty Tree. Um, but um, into that one too. Yep. Been to every, been to every mall in the week. All PBs and software, the, et cetera. The funny thing is, Liberty Tree Mall was not as big as North Shore Shopping Center, but they never called it the North Shore Mall. I have no idea. It was owned by the same company. Shopping center sounds sexier than mall. I guess. But, um, yeah, they, uh, they used to have a metal replica of Liberty, the Liberty tree inside the mall. It's hence a, how it got its name. They tore that down after a while. I don't know, quite frankly. I just know they got rid of it and the well that was around it. Maintenance usually. Cost money. Yeah. But yeah, I used to I used to get a kick out of it. I'd throw people out. You can't throw us out. It's a public place. I said, Oh no, it's not. It is it is a publicly accessed place, but it's a private property. It is private property with public invitation is how it's actually That's worded. Right. Yep. It's like a Walmart. Yep. Yeah. And I as an agent for the owner have the authority to ask you to leave. Invite you to the outside. And and this this person, well they yeah, they had to. They had no choice. They were trespassing otherwise. And this if they person don't leave, you just call the police. Was insistent upon calling the police and having me arrested for, for escorting him out the door. No problem. Let's call him. Let's call him. So I said I said not a problem. And I got on the radio and I called my my the supervisor at the time and uh, they called the police guy came down the cop turned around and took him and said well tell you what if you're refusing to leave you're under arrest and the guy's like what do you mean I'm under arrest he's throwing me out of a public place and the cop tried to explain it to him he says you're on this conspiracy too Oh yeah, you get some really stupid people when you work in security. They're just not understanding exactly what's going on. Yeah, and that's and that was his problem. It wasn't the, he he just wanted his own way and didn't matter who explained it to him, he was going to have his own way. Yeah, I uh I had a I had a couple of people at Walmart as a store manager. I can trust best. Ooh, look at this thing! Oh wow! And you had you would have never seen that. You would have never thought you would have seen that it, just by looking at the blank. Yep. Yes, <laughs> I do. But I used to tell people only the two or three that I have trespassed. I said, you know what? Because of your behavior, I am rescinding the invitation to this property extended to you. So you can that leave. was a nice way of putting it. Yeah, you know, I'm still trying to be trying to be diplomatic. And uh, I said, um, most of them, but but they got the hint that I was trying to be as nice as I could to ask them to leave, and of course. I got other people looking, and if I get belligerent with somebody, then somebody else is going to want to jump up and defend them, and then they got that problem. And I'm like, anyway. Oh, yeah, I was never, I was never, I mean, I, I had an air of authority about me, but I was never rude. I never you said you were. Oh, I know. I got other people looking at me, and it's like, oh, this is a store manager. Who do you think he is? And I'm like, well, 
I'm the guy running this $140 million business and I'm responsible. So yeah. you're not going to run it for everybody else that wants to come in here and buy. In my, in my case, it was, oh, look, it's a rent a cop. I I uh, had a I had some cops over for Christmas in my store the rent a cop from security guard and uh, and somebody made that comment and I said yep and I rented them and they're working for me what's your problem yeah so, what do you mean I'm the one that's paying them right now behave yourself or they will ask you to leave and and after they ask you to leave and you choose not to leave I'm not going to ask you to leave I'm just going to call the police. We we had one guy. There was a there was a police detail at the theater that's inside the mall, and uh, this guy was came in with an attitude, you know, and and a little bit of liquid courage. <laughs> yeah. Turn around to the turned around to the off duty cop who was on a detail. Ooh, wait, I gotta look at this pen first. That thing is freaking gorgeous. That is nice. I wish I wish you guys could see these little wispy details in here. Oh, it's, it's as fine as a hair. I never knew that was in there. Look at that. Yeah, it you, ate you, into a little bit of that white right there. You'd never guess it looking at the blank. I'm telling you. This is, uh, who is this? Lindsay. Lindsay yep. O. Yes, Amelia, it is a beautiful pen. Yeah. So anyway, he walks up to this cop who's who's there on a detail, and he says, "You you need to let me pass." And the, and the guy says, "I'm sorry, you haven't bought a ticket." He says, "Look, you're just a lousy rena cop." Mind you, he had a badge on. He had his patches on his uniform shirt that said Danvers Police Department. He had his gun, the radio, the whole nine yards. He said, you're just a stupid runner cop And the, guy, <laughs> the cop looked at him and said, hold that thought. Got on the radio, called the cruiser over, and they, all, they ended up hauling the guy away for drunken disorderly. <laughs> See, I would, have said, I would have said to him, I'm not just a stupid cop. I am a cop. <laughs> yeah. You ain't getting away with that turd bucket. Well, it's, he right. didn't even bother with that. He just said, that's it. Drunken disorder. <laughs> We're out of here. You okay. I hate to let this crowd go, but um, uh, I got to go get Kevin. Yep. And uh, I will be back turning. I don't expect many people to be here because, quite frankly, it's getting late in the day. I am but, actually uh, surprised Kevin hasn't said anything. Yeah, it's amazing. But 9.56, and I got to go get him at 10. He's got to do a little shopping for mom, so he's probably doing that now. Yeah, it could but I'm gonna I'm going to roll the outro to YouTube. Thank you, all you YouTubers. Appreciate you being here. And uh, we'll see you in about a 45 minutes or so, if you're still around. If you're still around.